Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> hey, it's here. The day that we've all been waiting for. Yes, it's Prison Mission Impossible. Crossed with Prison Village. Prison Architect. Yes, we are in my own prison now. As you, the best man in the squad, James P. Beckwith. He is uh, coming back as a prisoner to come and basically make this place a living hell for whoever is running this place since I am no longer running it and I've pretty much made some finishing touches however there is more room for expansion if that becomes necessary so first I just want to see how I'm doing so far me pretty normal just a normal Beckwith looking guy also super super strong but I don't have that quite yet soon I'll become a legendary prisoner but that's gonna take time Okay, so we're finally being processed, and I have no complaints. I'm now naked and in handcuffs. That's that's just great. <laughs> All right, so I'm probably hope. Why can't they just uncuff me? Like, I guess this is also my fault for not having enough guards. Now I really can't get mad at the prison for all these flaws and defects that we're gonna have, and. Uh, <laughs> We're really going to see my true colors on how bad I was at building this throughout the whole series. If you haven't seen the series, I highly suggest you go watch that first so you can see what the layout is and how we're going to try to do this. I have some ideas, so that's pretty nice. However, I did add some more uh, difficult increasing um, functionality aspects to this prison because I realized it might be a little bit too easy to escape from. So these guys are just relieving themselves here. That's pretty nice. We got... Dan Chapelli, who's an expert fighter, and this guy is getting carted away to his death. Nice. So, hopefully, I can stay in medium security. Actually, this is the worst place. Medium security is the hardest to escape from because it's the furthest back from anywhere. So, that'll just make things even more fun. <laughs> oh, well. So, yeah. So, the way this prison is set up, since you guys probably have seen the series, I'm going to just pretend that you guys... Uh, are going to open the door. We have the husky mod, so the dogs are now huskies. And I'm Beckwith. And this is the dormitory. Who knows where my cell is? Apparently my cell is over there, but nobody's taken me there yet. And I have clothes on now, so that's nice. So I'm just going to see myself to that cell. Um, so apparently I'm not allowed into these canteens, which is good and bad at the same time. <laughs> not quite sure about that. Not allowed into these cells. Every cell is an outdoor individual uh, village house cell thing. I'm not allowed through here because this is protective custody. But they put me in the dorm. Oh no. Literally the worst possible spot to be. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Really? Okay, I'm going to need to change cells because this is just dumb. Oh man, there's boxes and stuff everywhere. I'm not sure why that is. And I guess I'm allowed to be out here. I mean, it is a dorm, so I guess I can walk through and watch TV and whatnot. And there's a toilet right here. That's also on me. I forgot to fix that. <laughs> oh, man. Well, let's just pretend that I don't have... That guy just broke his neck. Poor Tim Pratt. Oh, I guess I might as well just start adding rep. Hey, what's up, man? Just gonna beat up your cell. Don't mind me. Oh, taste. All right, then. Well... Whoops. I'm just going to skip that punishment because that was a poor import taste. Let me just beat up some bookshelves. I feel like that's probably good to do. Come on. Give me something. There we go. There we go. Yes. Yes. I'm now doing what Beckwith did to me constantly, non-stop, without relenting. Oh, no. Here they come. Here they come. Oh boy. Alright, I stopped. I'm stopping. I'm stopping. Okay. Alright, so the road to becoming the actual expert legendary prisoner that Beckwith is, it starts now. I lost a lot of weight, so that's pretty cool. But, oh well. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I just realized that, um, what's up, bro? Oh, we got a gang member right here. Why does he cost 24? Why do all these people cost like 24? Are these because they're in a gang? That's probably it. Huh, interesting. I just realized I might as well just take like a quick tour of this place 
and try to go through a normal day of a guy who lives here and see how that goes. I'm not going to try to break down everything yet. Oh, here comes all the workers that come to fix my stuff. Man, this lockup time's for a long time. Dang. Oh, well. Let's people take the showers and do what they need to do. Like, these guys are reading. They're having a good time. This guy's... They're watching TV, you know. I probably could add more chairs, but it's whatever. These guys are not making use of this stuff, except for uh, Chris Pratt over here. Well, Tim Pratt. Now it's free time. Can't go in there, because we have RV Ladder, who's a snitch. Everybody wants to kill this guy. Whatever. Let me just go out here, see what's going on throughout the day. Pretty quick, so I can run faster. Oh, uh, we got the workshop. I forgot about the workshop. Well, I don't forget about it, but I know it's here now. Uh, we got probably some contraband here. What are you doing? Wait, it's free time. What are you doing? Am I not allowed to be here? Okay. I've got to fire this guard because I am having free time. I can go wherever I want during free time. Are you supposed to stay in your cell? Wait, I'm confused. Now it's work free time and I'm not going to work. I'm going to go check out what's down here. I never really finished this building very much or at all. Just put a random staff room and a random dormitory for all these randos and nobody can get in or out. <laughs> That's a darn shame. So we got a staff room here. We've got people working at the library and the mail room. I remember that. We got a classroom right here if we want to do some learning. Not sure what I want to do anymore. Uh, I know we got food time coming up pretty soon. And this is my canteen. Oh, well, I just got red flagged for no reason. That's pretty dumb. These guys are reading books. Hmm. I just realized that in order for Max Security to get where they need to be, they need to walk all the way around. Maybe that was a planning flaw there. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. We got people lovely, lovingly making food for us. We got these guys waiting to eat. They're pretty hungry. This guy's reading a book. And now it's eat time. So let's uh, pick up some food and eat. Just kidding. We can't do that in this game. <laughs> All right, so that's basically a day. We just hang around, we eat. I'm not sure if there's anywhere else that we can go. This guy has been caught with something. Not sure what. Uh, I want to see if I can get through this door. Oh, yeah, search me. There's nothing on me. Let me through. Oh my gosh, I wanted to get through that door. Come on. Let me go. Let me take you guys over to uh, Max Security and show you guys what that's all about. Oh shoot. This probably could have just took the short way around, but it's fine. Hello. Somebody, thank you. All right, so we're here across the fence from Max Security. Hopefully, I don't end up there, but I'm probably going to if I keep up trying to make all my rep and stuff. And so here's the perimeter wall. I guess I could dig out. It doesn't seem like too bad of a deal. It's just a lot of digging. If I lived over here, I could easily dig out, but I don't. I realize I'm missing some grass over here. Interesting. Uh, we got sniper towers here. We've got some more cell blocks here for medium. This is where I should be staying. This is the farthest away from anything. Oh, well. There's not a lot of guards around here at this time because it's only eat time. And so it'll be a long time for them to respond as I beat up this common room, I realize. I could go over to minimum security's common room as well and beat up some stuff there. But I think I'm not allowed in there if I'm mistaken. So let's just focus on getting, getting some rep. Uh, I can actually end the fight pretty easily because nobody's there to see me. <laughs> this is great. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, my goodness. Seriously? A dog? Okay, we're good. For some reason, the dog was mad at me. And I was sniffed by that guy named Fluffy Bottom. Chiffing, Chiffingo Fluffing Bottom just sniffed me for some reason. That was weird. Well, anyways, we got some more rep. Let's use that and make ourselves super strong, super quick. Oh, dang. I can't do that. So I might as well just do that. All right, cool. Now it's free time again, and all the guards are coming back out to do their guard duties. We got guys checking all the cells. Meticulously planned guard routines here to make sure we got nothing going on. That is crazy. We got prisoners following the path like they should. I don't know why they're having to go through here and why that's the case. I should probably turn that into an automated jail door. I'll probably do that. Uh, this this version of the map should be currently uh, on the Steam Workshop. So if you guys want to have at it, 
uh, as of this recording, when this recording gets laid out, it should definitely be on the Steam Workshop. So if you guys want to have at it or mess around with it, please feel free to do so and show me what's up. If you're on the Discord, just send screenshots or just send me the new file. So, yeah. So I just realized I can't go into Minimum Security's laundry room, but I can go into their yard. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, dang. Actually, that wasn't too bad. I just realized that wasn't too bad. I made a lot of rep doing that, so I might have to do that some more. I might need to beat up all the phone booths in uh, the other yard. Sweet. We got progress coming. We're gummy, we're gummy, we're becoming that legendary prison. Oh, <gasps> wait a minute. Oh, shoot. I got bumped up to max security. Wow, that was quick. Gosh dang it. Seriously? How does that bump me up to max security? Why did I set that policy? I didn't even kill anybody. Whatever. Whatever. And I didn't even get to move cells because this is a shared dormitory. I probably should have changed that back. Oh well. Let's just make ourselves uh, super tough. Yeah. Alright. We're here. Let's move on with life. Oh no. Oh jeez. Well, they moved me. <laughs> I literally just had gotten one fight. One fight with the guard. I don't think I killed him or anything. And they moved me. Now I'm in the max security cell where I really don't want to be. Because now it's lockup time. I don't have free time anymore. Gosh dang it. Well, I guess I'll just sit around beating up my cell like Beckwith used to do. Oh no. Wow, that guy just walked in and... Or girl. Yeah. Uh oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. I'm sorry. Dang. That's also the thing about max security. I put shotgun guards all around to patrol me, so because people like Beckwith would be going around killing people. Oh, jeez. I'm in a heap load of trouble now. This is going to be a little bit more difficult than I thought. Let me just make a quick run for it real quick. Let's see how far I can get. Show you guys the uh, execution room, actually. So this is where Max Sec does their common room stuff. And here's uh, where Beckwith, actually, where I used to stay. I came back, lost weight, in a new life, and I used to live right here, and I was killed actually right up here, if I'm not mistaken from the series, if you guys remember the series. Oh, sweet. Thanks, guys. All right. So now we're here, here with Martin Hendry. We got guys here that are supposed to be working, but they're clearly not. They're just chilling out, you know. Oh, a rope. All right. I don't know why I need a rope. Can I use a rope for anything? No, I don't think I can, actually. I can just beat up stuff. I'm sorry, it was an accident. It was an accident. It was an accident. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Oh, shoot. And I forgot. There are shark shotgun guards placed all throughout this place because Beckwith was either going to die or be tamed. And he died. <laughs> Jeez, I forgot how cool I am. Are you kidding me? I got tased through the fence. Are you, how does this guy have such a good shot? He can shoot through the fence. Through these little things and just tase me. Come on. Oh, that's just messed up. Oh, I gotta get in solitary for a little bit. Let's see what the solitary looks like nowadays. Actually, I haven't been there. Oh, I'm in lockup for an hour. Oh, I see. Let's just wait it out. I can wait it out. It's fine. Alright, we're now good to go. Yay, we waited out our prison sentence for once. Oh, no. Let me in. I want to eat. I'm hungry. Okay. We're actually here now, and we're back to work and lock up right when I was able to. Not even able to eat. This is the worst. I'm going to beat up all these trays. Oh, wait. Oh, I got hit once. That didn't do anything. Oh, dang. Wow. I got nowhere with that. Let me just go back to the yard while there's not a guard here. Yes. Back with is so strange because this is exactly what Beckwith would do. And I think I just got sniped. Holy crap. I literally just got sniped, I think, by the guy up there. That's not good. Alright, well, we're now maxed out on rep, if I'm not mistaken. We can just do this real quick, and now we've got rep. So, we can either use more rep and just hire people for some reason. I don't know why I would. Like, Beckwith was a one-man wonder. He didn't need anybody besides maybe Matt Hill. And, you know, that's not super important. We don't need Matt Hill. He's already dead anyways. He actually died the right way this time.
I went super quiet there. Because I just had a plan. Alright, remember that. The third cell on the right from the middle. Hopefully this guy's cell doesn't get searched. Alright. <laughs> I went super quiet there because I saw my chance and I had to take it. I really had to take it. So, there we go. We now have a sniper. And this is a good thing because Martin Ed Ian Edwards over here was trying to escape. So is this guy. Hashtag is his name. Literally, that's all his name is. His name is number sign. Wow, what a great name. <laughs> uh, whatever. Okay, so this guy's still out. He had some keys. I think I'm going to get keys next, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to move my move my gun that I have actually hide it from all the guards, and I believe my cell is right here. So I'm going to move it over. Hopefully, it doesn't get searched. Actually, I need a place where the cell's not going to get searched. Because all these people are bad people. They're going to get their cells searched. So, what I'm going to do is go all the way out to... I can't go in here. I really could move it here if I wanted to, but I can't. Uh, I can't go up to minimum security unless I go to eat time. Wow. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to have to just risk it. I'm going to have to risk it. And hide it here. I'm going to have to re probably act this out soon because this is going to get a little bit difficult. Uh, we got three guards coming through here. We have one guard that's alone coming through here. Actually, no, he's not. Ah, what are these routines? What are they doing? Three over here. When did, why did I put so many guards? When did I do that? And why are there so many? This is insane. I went really overkill here. All because of Beckwith, probably. Oh, jeez. Got a shotgun guard here ready to shoot me if necessary. It's now free time, so that means I can probably go to other places around the prison where I can find some keys. But, you know what I might actually do? I might wait for this guard to come into my uh, room while he's patrolling. I don't need you. Yeah, come in my room. I'm going to take your keys and stash them. This oh, frick. Give me your keys. No, I don't want that. Oh, didn't mean to kill the dog. Oh, jeez. I'm now the dog killer that I hate. Okay, we're done. We're not. <laughs> we're not quite that cool yet that we can uh, just kill people for no reason and get away with it. All right. So hopefully that gun is still there. Yeah, it's still there. My cell is getting searched. I'm going to wait for this person to leave and I'm going to try to get this person. Uh, boom. Got him. Give me your keys. Uh, I'm going to go and run in this one real quick. And hide the keys. Alright. We're good. We're good. I literally almost got killed. This guy got out for some reason. Don't know how. Alright. Cool. I like it. I like it. We're making progress. Uh, what we need to do now is probably start a riot in either normal security or minimum security. See how many guards we can kill. And somehow use that distraction to take out the snipers that are hanging out there by the entrance. Uh, I'll need a shotgun as well. I don't have enough hands. Uh, this guy literally just <laughs> gave up from being giving up. That's hilarious. So let me just put it away. Uh, let's go. Take. No, I don't want you. I want my one. No, I want the gun. I don't care about you, Ellison. Tom Ellison. Alright. We're good. It's now lockup, so I'm going to go to my room and wait until sleep time, and then we'll enact our plan tomorrow. Things are going to be real good. Now goes the, uh, I'm going to kill everyone uh, idea. So let me quick save, actually, if I'm not mistaken. I can do that. We're just going to walk past these guys. They think I'm okay. They don't really care. These doors are all open for me for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. I'm going to trigger this metal detector and make any guards who are around here suspicious but if I'm mistaken or if I'm not mistaken there's not gonna be any guards that are going to be trying to come after me right now because uh, that's just the way the patrols are set up I'll let this lovely worker in I'll come out here to the reception and I will walk out here alright 
Technically, I'm not escaping. Yet. But as soon as I get out here, I will be escaping. Alright, good. Oh, dang. So, that was on me, I believe. I didn't properly prepare, <laughs> I realized, because I could get rid of these two guards here, but I can't get rid of that sniper down there unless I do what I did in my other prison mission impossible. And, um, open up. Am I bleeding out? I'm about to freaking bleed out. What the heck? Dang. No, I'm not. I think I'm good. But... Uh, I need to get rid of those two snipers without anybody knowing. And then I need to run out, hopefully, using, like, a, a bus that's on this way. Uh, or this hearse or something like that. And we shall see. I wonder if I can wake up. Hold on a second. I'm going to try to wake up from this real quick. And I just got run over by a truck. Wow, I've been out for a long time. And now there's guards back to replace the guards that just died. And we got an autosave, which might be to our favor depending on when I wake up and when this guy is going to move out this way. But yeah, I am out for the count. Holy crap. However, nobody's come for me yet. So that's also like a blessing, maybe. I don't know. I'm just keeping my hand over the pause button. So when I wake up, I can kind of get a bearing on my stuff because I'm in full speed right now. And that won't end well. I'll probably just get sniped again. Oh, here we go. Dang it. Oh, well, we tried. <laughs> we tried. Oh, wait. Okay, no, never mind. So we're back in our cell. And I realize now that we actually have three sniper people to get rid of. This guy, without getting seen. Um, let's see, who else we got? We got to come across here and get rid of these two. I believe they're up here. And I think I can do that without being recognized, if I'm not mistaken. I'll need to kill this guy. And somehow aim over here and kill this guy as well. I wonder if I can shoot over this wall. I don't know. I'm going to have to get a sniper again. Or I could just cheat a little bit. Go back to my last save. And use that sniper that I got. And kill those guards. Uh, I might do that. It will save a lot of time. Because who knows how long it will take for me to actually get it right. Let's try it. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is... Why is people still asleep? It shouldn't be sleep time. Can I get this guy or no? How does this work? Let's see. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's hilarious. I can't get this guy. Alright, so let's skip this punishment real quick. Still sleep time. Uh, let's just load back to save. And then we can try again from there. <laughs> well, I can't find it. So... That's my bad. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to have to start over again then. So I can't find it. I guess I'll have to do things fair now. And wait this out. And try to get our sniper and keys again like we did that last time. Because for some reason the auto save is there. But I can't find that one save that I made before, right when I got the sniper and was sneaking out. So let's actually make use of this guy coming in. And run out here. Run in here. Give him the keys. Run out here. Take his baton and surrender. Make it look like I tried. Okay. So we got the keys down. That's good. This guy's dead. That's a shame, but that is life. And I might as well just skip the punishment. Hopefully this guy is not going to get his cell searched. But what we need to do now is find a sniper while he's walking by. And then we can get out of here. Somebody let me out. 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 Please? Please? Okay, we're good. Alright. So, we got the keys. I am going to actually grab them while I can. And... Let's see. I could grab a shotgun from somebody, kill the sniper before he kills me, and then grab... Oh, oh, nope. We just got a free lining right here. Alright. Okay, so now we got that. Uh, we can't go in here. We gotta run here. And now we gotta run. And now we gotta put the keys back. And then we gotta surrender. Okay, so I just saw somebody take that guy's keys and run. Hopefully that was nobody that... That oh, was a gang member, so I don't think it was anybody in these two. So if I'm mistaken, or not mistaken, I can skip this punishment and the sniper and keys will still be there. 
They are. Sweet. All right. I'll save my progress here because that was really... I got really lucky there. That was pretty intense. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, yeah. So apparently I just troubleshooted and cloud saving isn't working. So I guess maybe the new update bug cloud saving or maybe my storage is full in the cloud. But who knows. But we're back. And now we're going to come to the next phase in our plan of escaping. Let's see. Uh, by avoiding these guards here, using our free time, we, this guy's already got a replacement. That was very quick, actually. Dang. And we're going to now see if we can get away from all these people and take out these two sniper towers here. Uh, let's start with the closer one. Okay, we're now good. Can I end this attack? No, I can't, okay. I now ended the fight, okay, we got it. Oh, <laughs> wow, first try, first try. Um, I don't know if I wanna save, cause that'll probably be annoying, but I might, I might do it just in case. So I'm gonna do that again. Okay, so we now have those two sniper guys taken care of, and we now have to use this time to get out of here if we really want to. This is like, we have a really short window before those guys get replaced and I get murdered in cold blood. So let's move out here. I got triggered by a guy and, or by the whatever metal detector twice now actually, which isn't great for my health because I would get searched. I'm gonna use the keys to walk in here. I'm so glad I set these to be, because I'd just be killed instantly by these guys. I'm gonna pull out my sniper and I'm gonna walk out. All right, we're running here. We're running here. They can't, okay. All right, all right. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was intense. Holy crap. No, get away from me, get away from me. This taser is not used yet. All right, we got a truck guy coming here. This guy's chasing me, but it's too late. All right, we're out of here. We're out of here. No, no, we're not doing it. Sweet. All right. Okay. So that was the solo escape with James P. Beckwith of my own village prison. It really wasn't that hard. I only had to kill two snipers, two shotgun guards, one dog, unfortunately. It's a husky too, and four guards. So that really wasn't bad. I kind of want to low-key try again, but with... A different section, uh, maybe causing a riot of some sort, or at least killing a lot of people, or hiring a giant squad to kill, but Beckwith didn't work that way. I might come in as Matt Hill and hire a squad and do that, but we'll see. Depends on what you guys want. But that's it. We escaped from my prison, as it is so far. This will be seen on the workshop, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Prison Mission Impossible, Village Prison Escape. And as always, I hope you guys have a great morning, afternoon, night, and evening. And I will see you next time.